of a working thesis, no more weakness Inside of a mind of a man that houses typical creatures Turn of the fever, hungry eaters, doing up hiding seekers Finders keepers, capture the bag from sleepers, when they dismantle Egypt Salutations! Before we get into Sick Fits Volume 2, I just want to give a big massive shout out to everyone who streamed Ken Kyle the Saga so far. This was a really exciting tune to make and I'm glad by the overwhelming positive feedback so far. You guys are amazing, I appreciate you and thank you. Namaste. So, Sick Fits Volume 2. I don't really ever plan Sick Fits, it just kind of happens. And I think we're on a rolling contract of like one a month by now. So, the standard procedure for Sick Fits is I politely ask everyone to send in their sickiest, fittiest to the email sickfits at outlook.com. Oh, I'll take a shot every time he says Sick Fits. Oh, oh, oh. Send in a high quality picture of your outfit, leave some information on the fit and your Instagram handle as well so I know who to give that sweet, sweet street credit to. And just like that, you're in with a chance to get into this kind of video next month. So today I have about 20 outfits for you. I'm also going to number them from 1 to 20 as well so it's a little bit easier when you want to talk about a specific outfit in the comment section. I know I'm like super smart. Smash like for big brain? <laughs> and if you can't wait for the once a month fix then you can follow the sick fits instagram page because I, I try to upload every single day on there and if you want to get featured on that page then just tag your pictures with sick fits now without further ado you've chewed my ear off for too long big man like just show me the fits well that was a little bit rude but fine <coughs> asos design glasses Reclaimed vintage jacket Herschel supply co shoulder bag found I had to say it like that because I like, that was so hard to say. ASOS rings, Bershka jeans, and Nike Air Force Ones. Very nice outfit, plus five for the vintage look, but minus five for the smoking. Shake my head. You see me shaking? Nah, I actually did it then. Solid fit, vintage color blocking. It would have been a perfect 10 if you had nicotine patches on or something. Golf crew neck, huff sweatpants, and Air Force Ones. This is an airplane mode outfit, isn't it? See, my man's got that maximum cozy boys. Arguably a really sick suitcase just because it's all stick it up in that. Just to make it 10 times easier for those airport luggage thieves. Bro, is that Huff's version of the Burberry sweatpants? Very interesting. Honestly, I like what you've done here. It's a cozy outfit. Get on that plane, do the ting, make sure you get your luggage back in one piece. Cozy boys forever, you're done though. Thrifted champion Notre Dame crew neck. Thrifted Nike windbreaker. Levi's 502 tapered. Nike socks and the Air Max 97 yin yang. Oh, I don't think they have a colorway name. Okay, cool. The 90s dad look reigns supreme if OK Boomer was a picture. In all seriousness, I love vintage and sportswear. Combine them together? It's low key, I like it. Look at that taper, you can really see the socks. 1980s vintage guest crew neck, propped cuff H&M denim, fast times cross Nike SB dunks, and real gold accessories? Ballin'! Simple, effective colorway. Black, blue, surely not, but it works. Crew neck and jeans combination. But personally, I think the shoes steal the show. They match the crew neck. You passed the vibe check. Very, very well done. Balenciaga cap, SLP chain bracelet, chrome hearts ring. Okay, there's like a lot of rings here. Vintage tie dye Stuzy t shirt, Zara cargo joggers, and Aldo high tops. Balenciaga dad flex, tie dye and a Stuzy t is sick. Rings are pretty cool. I've never heard of those high tops, not gonna lie, but they look like they work. Some rando bucket hat, a vintage Dior bag, a vintage fisherman vest, gap hoodie, HM cargo trousers, and the Nike Air Force Ones. Fam, the luxury fisherman outfit has never looked so good. It's like, let's go fishing, but make it fashion. White Uniqlo shirt tucked in with a vintage red corduroy jacket, vintage plaid trousers with green old school vans. Now, I like this one because it's a little bit different. You've got the plaid trousers with a contrasting top. Simple, street ready. But look up from your phone, big man. Someone's taking a picture of you right now. Shake my head, zoomers, man. Thrifted tie-dye crew neck, thrifted women denim jeans, golf break me Valentine's Day t-shirt, and the brand new golf Le fleurs. I was just about to say, let's talk about this outfit. If I had to describe this outfit, I would say,
say it's like pastel e-boy very odd future 2016 but like i'm not cussing it down saying like oh my god that's throwing out season no it's a look the amazon bandana the aliexpress clout goggles the uniqlo t-shirt the dickies trousers the top man blazer the nike air force ones and the jaded galax barrel bag don't let diet prada know you're wearing that bag big man a very coordinated outfit everything has a purpose here all black with subtle hits of white smart casual but make it fashion fashion on top of fashion versace olympic sweatshirt thrifted carhartt trousers nike air max 95s the supreme side bag in black and various thrifted jewelry street ready outfits are always my favorite just because they're very clean subtle but at the same time you can carry a lot of your own personality in them hold tight this versace sports sweatshirt though that's actually sick big man very very nice pieces thrifted ball cap thrifted flannel supreme classic logo hoodie APC jeans and the Yeezy 2s. Bro, this is an OG look, man. Flannel and hoodie combination. Nike Yeezys, you Zoomers wouldn't understand. A very, very big look. I can imagine this guy sitting in a Supreme queue back in 2015, complaining about how Supreme is too mainstream these days but in a good way. Disney Uniqlo shirt, Uniqlo cropped trousers, van slip-ons, and the fanny pack that he got from the festival. Low-key festival merch. You could have told me you was at Astro World, and I probably would have believed you. Tommy Hilfiger hat, thrifted t-shirt, thrifted jacket, pull and bear trousers, and the feeler disruptors. This outfit was perfect until you said feeler disruptors. Now, I am under the general consensus that Feeler disruptors are a dead shoe? Question mark. Are feeler disruptors dead? Are they a mainstream shoe? Have they completely lost all clout? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thrifted t-shirt, H&M jeans, retro vans, all black outfit, clean, like the graphic, you did your ting. Levi's denim jacket, H&M hoodie, Uniqlo white t-shirt, top man trousers, Stan Smiths, and standard white socks. Another really nice full autumn look. Denim jacket and a hoodie, it's definitely hoodie season. Trousers look nice and they blend together with the Stan Smiths all together sick outfit okay a thrifted band t-shirt Levi 501s a reconstructed flannel the Gosha Robchinsky feeler shoes and the Noah tote bag there's a lot going on in this outfit there's a lot of texture to the layers love it this one was already featured on the Instagram page but he just so happened to send it into the emails as well so double feature urban outfit is beanie thrifted button up cuffed black trousers Cray Pack Sun socks, thrifted Nike Cortezes, and gold necklace and watch from the great grandmother. Cheese. Love the thrifted button up shirt. I think it's very fierce because. You know, it's got a tiger on it. Love how you've made it the main standout piece of the outfit. Everything else is black. Just, you know, taking a seat back, just letting everyone know that, yeah, there's a tiger on this button up shirt and what? What are you gonna do about it? Very nice, clean, subtle. Hand signs. Famala, I thought you didn't send a picture with this email, it just didn't load. Uniqlo t shirt, thrifted corduroy jacket, cos sweatpants, but he like cropped and replaced the drawstring. Rick Owen runners and a tote bag from Rick Owens as well. Now, I like the silhouette and the fall on this outfit. It's kind of like fitted but baggy at the same time, is the only way I can describe it. Lanky? The outfit falls really, really nicely. I like just an all black outfit. But again, with some subtle hits of color, like the brown in the tote bag, the white drawstrings, and the white in the runners, just to break it up a little bit, but it is, in essence, an all-black outfit. It's sick, you've done it, you made your dreams come true. And last but not least, we have this vintage windbreaker, vintage button-up shirt, a less joggers, and the Nike Air Skylon 2s. Firstly, I really like the jacket. The button-up shirt under it might be a little bit too crazy for the fit, or maybe that's just what you were going for. Add crazy with crazy, loud with loud. Subtle flex outside Harry Potter's house. Harry Potter's front door has wheelchair access. A very nice outfit indeed, and it kind of low-key makes me want to go to Harry Potter land now, so... What's with the hands? And that was today's episode of Sick Fits. So I wanna thank every single person who submits into Sick Fits, every single person who tags Sick Fits in their Instagram posts. You guys make this happen. Pumbaa, which one of these fits was your favorite? Next. <laughs>
that's actually really rude. Again, a big massive thank you to everyone who streamed the saga, my brand new song on Spotify, link in description. Let me know in the comment section, which one of these outfits was your favorite? I've taken the liberty of numbering them. I think we'll just carry on sick fits like this for a while, so there's not gonna be a theme. Literally just send them in. I just wanna include as many people as possible. Themes might come back, but at the moment, I'm just having fun with it, so. Can we get some chit in the chat, get some Fs in there? If you didn't make it into sick fits, like, I don't know where to say like sorry it doesn't mean i don't appreciate you try and try again strife and prosper if you like this video give it a like if you dislike this video give it a dislike if you want to see more of what i do and support the channel then press that little subscribe button and the bell notification if you want to get notified when i upload a new video that's mega scripted thank you for watching my video you guys are the best bye no go keep on taking my shot in season deep it drink to repeat it bathe in the flame with the feet then see this blinding blaze of a phoenix all of my demons sleep in grace cthulhu's mind is trapped in a world of base everlasting screams tearing down these walls of elusive dreams and when i wake up to the sound of the beat of the drum all lies on me when i fall back down to the scene with the force of a metro